Welcome to Cape Lloyd, an opinionated Kubernetes deployment system for AppOps. So I'm here at the uh, GitHub repository. Now I'm using a Ubuntu 14.04 virtual machine. Uh, let's start with cloning the uh, GitHub repository and I'll just have a quick look around. What is there? Yeah, here we have the kploy main file. We can do minus h for uh, yeah help. What commands are available currently in the dry run and run this implemented. That's the dry run. And oops, we forgot the kploy file. So um, let's reuse an existing one, just for convenience. Prepared one, uh, essentially kploy file describes the deployment, tells uh, kploy where uh, the Kubernetes uh, API server is and the name of the app. Some other metadata there, not interpreted right now. Now let's do the dry run again. We passed the first one, the first validation step, but we don't have any replication controllers or services defined yet. So um, kploy is um, using Pike as its underlying toolkit, and um, that's based on manifests, right? So you need to copy in some manifests. Um, Kploy uses a convention over configuration, so it expects the replication controller manifests in a subdirectory called RCS for replication controllers, and in a subdirectory services, not very surprisingly, it expects the service manifests and service definitions. You can copy as many as you like in there. Uh, it will just take all of them it finds and it will deploy. Now, since we have copied in both the uh, uh, replication kernel and the service, which is just a very simple Nginx web server, um, we should be good to go. Let's go uh, for another dry run once we have copied that in. and. Uh, Voila, everything there. So let's uh, actually deploy it with kploy run. And the simple app is up and running. Let's check that, reload. Well done, service is there. And let's have a look at the uh, service and the pods themselves. Yeah, there you go, everything there, pods. Is that one pod we deployed. That was it, check it out and have fun.